Okay, so this is what I have so far. I'm trying to hurry up because my husband's gonna come back soon. He's just out for a bit. Anyway, we're gonna start by putting these bills inside the plastic bags. I don't want to go out anymore, so I think I'm just gonna use these. These are Ziplocs. And then I have this round dowels. These are just leftovers from the party I did before. These are wooden sticks basically, but you can use anything similar to it. I just need one. These are from Dollar Tree. This is the only box I have that's like a decent size because if I use this, see how there's an allowance on the sides, which I think is good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tape the sides and just cut a slit up here so that that's where the money can come out of. This is where I'm going to roll the money into. This is a balloon stick actually. You can use a straw because we're just going to cut a small piece, just enough to put the dollar bills on. We have my cutter here, my scissors, and my plastic gloves for the cake later on when we put the box inside. This fits perfectly in here. This is a size six and a half by five, seven eighths. Seven eighths? Seven eight? Anyway, that's the size right there. <laughs> All right, let's start. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is get an extra one so that I can print out like a happy birthday sign and put it inside just to show that it's the end of the roll. We did it! So I have my cutter, ruler, and I have a cutting mat, but this is more accessible because it's just right beside me. So we're gonna use this. This is just the back of my food cutting board. So let's try it with this one. This is the first time I'm doing it. So what we're trying to do is to put the money as close to the end as possible. I'm just gonna leave a little bit of space here. able to cut everything already so these are all set now we're gonna tape them i'm just gonna show you real quick how i tape each of them basically you just want to like put half of the tape towards the front and the other half towards the back okay i got a call already so we have to wrap up and just continue this tomorrow <laughs> All right, I'm back. Husband had to do some errands, so we have time to continue this again. <laughs> Here's my progress. These are the sealed ones. I have just a few left. So yeah, we're just gonna continue this and then we're gonna tape everything together. So it's better if you're not wearing nail polish. Look at my nail polish, it's all messed up. I'm just cutting the excess because I don't want it getting stuck anywhere. We are done sealing all of them. Now we just have to put them all together like this before we can roll them. I have here my balloon stick, but again, you can use a straw or any other similar material. I'm just going to measure and cut it so it's the same size as my plastic bags and make sure that it fits my box. So I'm trying to do it wherein the straw is a little bit smaller than the box. Let's start taping these. So we're gonna attach a happy birthday sign here just to show that it's the end of the roll. I was gonna print one, but I think I'm just gonna write it down. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is measure and cut a piece of paper that's the same size as a bill. I think I'm just gonna do the whole thing and then just fold it into two.
just gonna be attaching an additional plastic here at the top so that I can attach this to the topper. All right, we are done. Let me show you how long it is. Now we're gonna start rolling the bills into this little straw that I have. All right, so I have my box right here. So I'm just gonna cut the center part so that I can pull out the money from it. So we're gonna wrap this with saran wrap or any plastic just to protect it from the cake or protect the cake from it. You can leave it as is do, it's up to you. But another thing that we're doing is that we're gonna punch holes over here. Once this is in the cake, we're gonna put this in there and then make sure it goes through the hole and then goes through this so that it just rolls from here and then it goes out the other side and the other side of the cake. I'll show it to you. What's surprisingly convenient is that they asked me if I can have like the crunch on the side which is really convenient because I needed to remove it anyway. So this is the crunch that we're gonna put on top. I actually haven't tasted this. I tasted the coffee crunch before but that's from Red Ribbon in Philippines. If this doesn't taste good, we have the other cake. All right, we're ready to cut the cake. I'm scared, okay, let's do this. Okay, so I cut some from the side and put it at the bottom. I decided to wrap this one in foil. So yeah, I think I'm gonna leave the foil in there, but of course I'm gonna punch a hole on the sides. And yeah, we'll hope for the best tomorrow. Oh my gosh, all right, let's do it. All right, now we have to put this inside. We're just gonna measure so that it doesn't show. I have to cut this over here. All right, so we're all set. The stick is in there to hold the whole thing. Now we just need to focus on the decoration. Okay, so we're good with this one, but I have a problem. These crunch thingies I was supposed to put up here, these are really sticky because I think they have caramel in it. So if I put it there, what's going to happen is that it's going to stick onto the plastic or the box, which we don't want. So I found some of these mini Oreos and lint chocolates. So what I'm going to do is put the dry ones, which are the Oreos, around here and then just play around with the lint chocolates then put these crunch thingies around it so let's see if that works I think it's not bad, you guys.
So I just cut the cover and just taped it and made it high like this. I might put saran wrap here or something just to cover it. Yay, success! lifestyle and good vibes videos like this one go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell thank you so much and have a good one